welcome to the lecture 5 of rrbj electrical in this lecture i will solve some of the numericals and the objective questions based on the previous lecture that is the lecture number 4 so without any delay let's get started for solving some of numericals i have left one thing for the case of capacitor in the case of capacitor the c can be given as can be calculated q upon v the, where q is the charge in coulomb and v is the potential difference or voltage in volts also c can be defined as c equal to epsilon a upon d where epsilon is epsilon not into epsilon r where epsilon not is the absolute permittivity of the medium and er is the relative permittivity of the medium and the medium i means capacitor consists of two plates and between them insulator is placed that medium is insulator it may be of air paper or dielectric medium that medium having the permittivity so that is capacitance equal to epsilon a divided by d where a is the cross sectional area and d is the distance between these two plates now coming to the first question a capacitor a capacitor consists of two similar square aluminum plates is 10 cm into 10 cm mounted parallel and opposite to each other what is the capacitance in micro microfarad micro microfarad is nothing but picofarad when distance between them is 1 cm and the dielectric is air this is very important the dielectric medium is air means epsilon not will be only considered and epsilon r is 1 if the capacitor is given a charge of 500 micro micro coulomb that is pico coulomb what will be the difference of the potential between plates how will this be affected if the space between the plates is filled with wax which has a relative permittivity of 4 this question has two parts in the first part it is given that the medium is air the dielectric medium is air in second case the dielectric medium is wax whose relative permittivity is of 4 as we know that i have told you that c capacitance is given by epsilon not into epsilon r a divided by d where epsilon not is a constant value that is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 2 all and area here area is given as 10 into 10 cm square that is equal to 100 cm square or 100 into 10 to the power minus 4 in meter square divided by the distance between these two plates is given as 10 cm that is sorry 1 cm that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter that equal to here these two will be cancel out each other 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 that is 8.854 picofarad also for find out the potential difference between the plates v equal to q upon c where c is q by v from this we will get v equal to q by c q is here given in this question 500 picofarad sorry 5 where q is given in this question that is 500 picocoulomb 
the 500 into 10 to the minus 12 divided by 8.854 into 10 to the minus 12 that equal to 56.5 volts. Now coming to the second part of the question that is when the medium is of wax and whose relative permittivity is 4 that means epsilon r will be 4. Here in this question in the first part we have calculated that the when epsilon r equal to 1 for the air medium we have calculated the capacitance value that is 8.854 into 10 to the minus 12 that is 8.854 picofarad. So when we are putting epsilon r equal to 4 that equal it will be of 4 times the new value will be capacitance will be 4 times of the previous value that is 35.4 into 10, 10 to the minus 12 that is picofarad and the voltage will be the charge won't change charge will not affect any that is charge will remain same as before that is V equal to Q by C that is Q is 500 divided by C is 35.4 that is equal to 14.1. In the next question find the equivalent capacitance of this circuit. All the values of the capacitance is given as are given in microfarad. So these two are of series 20 and 5 then it will be of 20 into 5 divided by 20 plus 5 that is 4. This is 4. Will these two series makes combining of 4 microfarad. 4. 4 and this one, this one is 6. 6, 4, 6 and 20, these 3 are of parallel, that is why now combining these 3 will get 4 plus 6 plus 20, that is equal to 30. These 3 are combined as combination of these 3 gives the value of 30 microfarad. This 30 and 60 are series that is 30 into 60 divided by 30 plus 60 that is equal to 20 microfarad. The answer is 20 microfarad. In the next question, in a inductor given L equal to 0.1 Henry and IT the current through the inductor is given as 10 T e to the minus 5 T ampere. Find the voltage across the inductor and the stored energy. As we know that the voltage across the inductor V is given as L di by dt. The L is 0.1 Henry and d by dt that is equal to we can find out derivative of 10 T into e to the minus 5 T. This 10 into 0.1 gives 1. Then the derivative of this function is nothing but t into e to the minus 5t that is equal to u into v. Taking derivative of u then multiplying v and derivative of v multiplying u that is u into derivative of v that is equal to derivative of this one is minus 5 into e to the minus 5t plus This one into derivative of t. Derivative of t with respect to t is 1. That is e into e to the power minus 5t. Taking e to the power 5 minus 5t common 1 minus 5t voltage. This is the voltage across the inductor. Secondly, the energy store can be calculated as half Li square. That is equal to half of L into i i square that is 10 square that is 100 t square t square into e to the minus 5 t square that equal to e to the minus 10 t that gives us 5 t square into e to the minus 10 t joule 
because energy unit is joule in the next question capacitance is measured in farad coulomb is the unit of charge joule is the unit of energy henry is the unit of inductance next question when the total charge in a capacitor is double the energy stored option number a is the remain same that is half double and four times as you know that the energy stored w equal to half cv square if q that is charge is double if charge is double q is two times then the voltage will be 2q upon c the voltage of the capacitor is also two times if voltage is two times voltage square that will be of four times of the original value that is option number d is the correct answer in the next question which one is the correct form from this four option option d is the correct form that is v1 v1 equal to l1 divided by l1 plus l2 into vs l1 divided by l1 plus l2 into vs is the correct form in the next this could be a question that is for the ideal current source the internal resistance is infinity and for the ideal voltage source the internal resistance is zero that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we will discuss the network laws and theorems after that we will solve some of the numericals regarding that theorem hope you like this video please share and subscribe to make easy electrical technology thank you